Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome to Composite Nation, I am Mario Alvera and I'm going to show you the new updates, the new update of the of Unique, the version 1.1 and I'm going to show you what uh, I've been working on So let's go to Generate and what I changed, the, the main things that I changed it is uh, that I changed is the mask the mask feature and also a new slider that I um, that I added. Also, I changed this word. I changed it to save because you are tricking the values of the onirik and once you trick it, you can save it. And whenever you click save, now you can choose the name of that glue that you want. Okay, so that is easier for you to uh, to edit the element and start. Um, yeah, you get it. You get it, right? So the thing is the next one. Um, let's go, for example, and create a mask for the fire here. Uh, also, what I did, uh, I decreased the opacity of the mask so you guys can see what is behind here. Okay. So if you if you um, enable the mask, if you create the mask, you will see that you have four buttons. Uh, well, this fifth fifth button, the apply button. Okay. So you have the brush. Which, which you can paint, which you can start painting, okay? Um, you have this erase button in case if you want to erase something from the mask, right? You have the invert mask that if you press it, the mask will be inverted. So that's pretty pretty handy because if, so let's say for example, I'm going to clear the mask with this button here. So let's say that I just want uh, like isolate this part of the of the image. So let's go now uh, and click invert and everything will be inside of the range of Enric but not that part. Okay, so that's pretty handy for that. So let's go for example apply it and now you can see now everything, let me increase the threshold here. Now the glow is applied on everything except the area that I isolated. Okay, so if you want to edit your mask, now is this button Whenever you click it, all the buttons and the mask will appear now, so you can start uh, editing your mask again. Once you are done with your mask, just hit apply, and you will be done with that. And you can start tricking the old value, the all the the other values for the for the glow, right? So let's say that I just want, for example, um, colorize it. I added something really cool to colorize that you guys been telling me about a lot. So it this uh, eyedropper tool. So if you click it, you are able now to click uh, to sample the color wherever you want from your image uh, to generate the color of the glow. For example, let's say that the my ambience is like at this uh, really uh, dark red and very low saturation of red so I click it and automatically on your ego will get all, all that color and create a glow with the with that value with that with those tones okay so you can see this uh, this is really helpful because whenever uh, in, in the in the last in the in the past version guys uh, the, by default the saturation was all the way up Okay, but that looks like a really fantasy stuff. I'm, I'm aiming to something more realistic now. So with the, with this tool, you can start like uh, sampling really uh, real real colors from your image, and uh, the default value now is 80, guys. So just mind that. Um, that is pretty cool, guys. That you can now sample this. It's, I think is really helpful for you. I've been using it a lot, now using it for everything. And um, the exposure, the exposure slider, the exposure algorithm was a little bit tricky in the back end. Now it's more powerful, it has a lot of power now than before. So you can see it's really, you can blow things a lot, so you can have more control of it. Uh, that's pretty cool as well. So yeah, let me just uh, edit the mask. I'm gonna clear the mask now. And I'm going to paint now just on the fire, like this. I'm going to paint on the fire like this. Let's go up, apply it, okay? Okay, so I apply it now. Uh, I'm going to click Save. 
Now, if you if you click save, this dialog will appear, and you are able now to save your you uh, to choose a name for your glow. For example, let's say fire. Let's just you can you can press or enter, or you can click on the save button as well. So yeah. Now Nurik is gonna do its thing, and now you see this is a little bit more natural than the than before because if you manage like the saturation in hand 100%, um, you will be able. Uh, it it's not going to be easy to have like a natural res uh, result. If you see examples of fire, for example, if you see a reference of fire in Google or something like that. You will see that sometimes, uh, a lot of times, if not every every time, uh, in pictures, uh, the fire, the real fire, it's all, like overexposed. So I was aiming to to do that. Okay. So now I'm gonna create another la a layer, another onic element, and I'm gonna mask again. But uh, now I'm gonna tell Onirik that I want to create the glow from this part of the character. So let's once I am done with the with the mask, just hit apply and it will apply now the mask on this area. Let's see the before and after. And now, for example, if you see here, we change instead of type, now it's oniric. You can choose two types of oniric, diffuse and strix. The diffuse is the bloom that was before, so I think diffuse is like more, uh, it's easier for people to understand what the kind of oniric type is, you know? So I'm gonna choose now Strix, and the algorithm as well from the default settings for the Strix is uh, stronger and redefined because uh, before you were you were not able to see Strix right away. So I changed the algorithm so you can see the Strix right away, and also I added this pretty cool slider. So if you see now, I'm gonna increase the radius a little bit. Now, if you see, this is uh, this is a pretty cool streak. I like it, uh, but it needs like a little bit more of life, you know, like something mm, I don't know detail. So I added this streak detail slider. So if I increase it, look what happens. It starts like spreading the the uh, the streak and making it like a more like more fine more more thinner you know so um, it gives a lot of detail now to the to the streaks and it, it it is not like maybe something like digital something like that now it, it's starting to look like something more natural something more chaotic to the real life so i was aiming to do that as well so now i'm gonna um press the colorize button again and I'm gonna choose some color like this. Okay, I like it. And I'm gonna increase the, the I'm gonna decrease the exposure like this. And you can see, for example, the before and after when using strict, uh, increasing the strict detail. So look, look at this. It's cool, blah blah blah. But I think this is cooler, more cool, you know. So yeah, it's pretty useful slider that you can use guys now in just tricks stuff. And it works uh, with when you have two rays or four rays as well. So that's pretty cool guys uh, that you can manage now the, the detail because you have like more, uh, more flexibility for the tricks. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me just save this. Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna reset the rotation with the right click. Remember that if you click, if you right click in any of the sliders, it will reset to the to the, its default values. Okay. Uh, I also, I removed I removed the the reset button because in the next version I am gonna add it here. I'm gonna add it here, so it's gonna be um, less like invasive to the to the UI. So uh, yeah, let's let's just uh, save it. Let's say flares maybe something like that. Yeah, let's wait for Nick to do its thing. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like this to stuff now. 
So you can see how much we can increase the image with just two onerica elements, right? And now guys, I want to show you a really cool trick that I did with Oniric. Um, I'm going to create another an, a, another Oniric element. And this is the cool part. Look at this. If you increase all the threshold, let's, let me increase it all the way, like one, something like this. Okay. And I'm going to increase the exposure just a little bit like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. I'm going to turn on my mask. I'm going to, I'm going to turn on my mask. And I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, I'm going to start, for example, if you want to change the size of your brush, you can right click and you can change the size of your brush. Also, another thing that I added to the to the Oniric uh, universe is that uh, now you can have the toolbar open. So whenever you want, you can select, for example, I don't know, the lasso tool, the elliptical tool, so you can have like a more control of your masks because I think the masks inside on Eric is the most important thing. So I'm going to be upgrading that part a lot. So yeah, but this is just for the, for the, for this version guys. Uh, what I'm going to show you now is if you have, if you have guys pen tablet, if, if you have a, a Wacom or something like that and into a uh, Hunion or something like that, if you have a, a tablet, I recommend you to use it uh, when you're creating mask because you can control how much um, density of the glow you want. For example, uh, right now I'm going to start painting with the mask. I'm going to start painting here, okay, like in the edges because I want to tell Onirik, you know, I, wanna, I want you to create glow on, the, on these edges, okay? Like this. This is going to look really cool, guys. Look at this. Just I'm going to paint all the edges like this, like a rim light. So what I want to do is to enhance that little rim light and give it a little bit of glow. OK, so I'm going to start painting there, maybe here as well here as well okay like this and maybe here and here for example i'm not gonna paint with the whole pressure of my pen here i'm gonna paint a little bit like this the eraser and the brush both both of these ones work uh with the with the pen pressure so mind that okay uh, another thing is that if you go right click, uh, the plugin automatically, uh, the update automatically will install these brushes for you. So you don't have to manually install the brushes. I don't know. I know it's a little bit annoying. So I just included that in the in the plugin this version. So I'm going to start now uh, painting again the rim lights here, maybe here. Okay. Like this. This is just like really fast to show you guys the, the trick. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool. That that will work a lot. So let me just paint here a little bit as well. Here. I'm gonna paint here and here as well. Okay, there you go. So look at this. I'm gonna hit apply and watch this. I'm gonna start increasing the exposure. And you can enhance a lot of the rim lights. Look at this. Before and after, before and after. So that's pretty cool because you're given like a more natural uh, metallic uh, metallic feeling to the to the to the surface, you know? So that's pretty cool. And well, yeah, I'm done with this. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna say rim lights. Let's let me save it. And I'm done. Yeah. I have three layers now. And look at this, look, 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 uh, how much we enhance the image with just these three layers. So yeah, guys, this is version 1.1 and a lot of things are coming on. Uh, if you have any feedback, just throw it to me, please, because throw it in the group and uh, I will be listening to you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for keeping, uh, 
<laughs> having fun with on here guys because i have been having a lot of fun uh, making it so yeah anything that you want to give me as feedback and i am open for it guys so have a great day and make everything glow guys